Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Immortal. Now you might think, wow, only one player online, online, but that's actually because I am on the local client that I have on my desktop to show you guys some of the future updates because I will showcase some of the updates in our latest update post. Um, anyways, I will also be showing a few sneak peeks for the people who missed the live stream that I did yesterday. So um, yeah, that will be really nice. Anyways, to start off with, I'm just going to say that there was a lot of actually fixing models and stuff. Um, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. Right now the developer is working on a fix for something, but I'll go more in depth of that once the fix is actually done. Anyways, to start, let me just pull up the forum thread real quick so you guys can see what um, actually happened. So as you can see on the forums, um, the update was mainly a fix for drop tables and some small additions. Progress has already been made towards the next update where we hopefully can start adding most, uh, most of the 99 plus killing stuff and more bossing content. Um, this look, this update itself took a bit longer than anticipated, so um, yeah, we apologize for that. But anyways, starting off with Cerberus. Now, Cerberus has been added to the PVM teleports. It will drop the Primordial, Pigasian and Eternal boots, which will be very good boots. Um, the Eternal and Pigasian boots are best in slot boots. Let me just close my Facebook real quick. There we go. Um, the Hell Puppy has also been added to the drop table, so the um, Cerberus pet, so that's pretty nice. Now there is one part uh, of the combat script that is still missing which is the ghost but that will be added with the next updates as well. Um, anyways let me just show in game um, what Cerberus looks like so if you go to the PVM teleport Cerberus is right down here as you can see you have the Picasians, Eternal, Primordials and then the Hell Puppy. So if you actually teleport to the boss itself as you can see we have the full um, Cerberus layer here. Um, so you have the long hallway right here, and then if you run towards Cerberus, you will be able to attack it. Now let me just go in god mode real quick. Um, it will do magic range and melee damage, so you can't really protect anything from it. It has 20,000 HP, as you can see on the drop tables right here. Um, it can drop coins, uh, some armors, and then the Picasians, Eternals, Primordials, and the Hell Puppy, uh, and then some more stuff. Now, oh, you didn't see it this time around, but it does actually spawn the lava pools and everything as well, so that's pretty nice. Um, right after that, the old drop system, uh, drop rate system has been reverted um, because the one we used to have, the uh, more modern one where it said drops one out of so many, would actually be wrong. It would uh, give you false information because it would depend on how many drops are on the list and that stuff. So now that is uh, reverted to the old system. Okay, I'm going to close my Discord as well now. Um, but that is reverted to the old system where um, percentages were used. So this update actually fixed the drop table and that brought back a lot of players because they missed out on a lot of drops. Now, a small thing, Immortal Wings have been added to the Slayer Loot Crates. Now, for the people who don't know what the Slayer Loot Crates are, it's actually, um, you can get the Slayer Loot Crates from Slayer. Now, let me just find Slayer Loot, um, Slayer Loot Crate, uh, or find Loot Crate. Okay, I'm just going to open uh, 28 of these. Um, but yeah, you can get these uh, from your Slayer Task, uh, 1 in 500 chance from killing your Slayer Task. And you can get a bunch of items, as you can see, I just got the Immortal Wings. Now before you could only get the Immortal Wings um, actually from um, going to the high risk arena. But, um, oh, I also got Slayer Thor Helm. Oh, this is actually a really lucky inventory, by the way. Here are the pools, which will damage you 100 each time. So, um, yeah, I got pretty lucky in this inventory, but you can get, like, lights and dragons and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty nice as well. Now, there was also an issue with pets. Now, that has been fixed. Um, some old-school arrest models, which have been fixed. So, like, the Twisted Bows, Dins Bulwarks. Um, I don't have any in my inventory right now. Also, the Drygors um, models have been fixed. And some others. So let me just spawn a few in. So as you can see here, the Twisted Bow, Elder Maul, Code I Want, and Dun's Bulwark now actually have the correct inventory model. Um, I also managed to fix the Chaotic Rapier and Chaotic Longsword for the next update. Um, also, the Sirenic sets have been redone. Um, if I am respawning, I will show you guys that. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, the Sirenic sets have been remodeled, um, at least the inventory model and the equipment model has also been fixed. So as you can see, if you wield the Sirenic set now, it actually has the right equipment model. Um, then we have the Blood Sirenic, which I have added um, yesterday on stream. I also added the Blood Dye. 
um, which isn't available yet in game because we still need a few more blood models which is being worked on right now we still need tectonic malevolent and then the um, blood dyed weapons but yeah that will be done pretty soon um, for the rest the blood dye has functionality so you can actually dye the full ceramic set to become blood dyed um, and the blood dye ceramic set does have an HP boost so that's pretty nice as well also what I just showed you guys with the dye, if you use the dye on an item you can actually uh, you get actually a warning now but also if you use a dye on an item let me see if I have the cloth right here in my bank somewhere um, oh yeah here I have scroll of cleansing so right now if you actually use a dye on an item for example if I want to make the ceramic mask in a blood dyed ceramic mask you use it like that but you can also get a scroll of cleansing which will be added pretty soon here as well which will remove the dye but not give it back because the dyed items will be untradeable and then you can actually uh, get your regular item back if you want to sell it again. Now the Slayer gem also fully works now instead of uh, actually having to click on your Slayer um, in, the in the skilling tab and have to lag out. The skilling gem actually works now. Um, the fishing spots no longer move around. That was an issue with the latest update. Um, you all, uh, there was also a fix for the Slayer assignments that not giving loot or didn't um, actually progress. That has also been fixed. There was a full rework on how the NPC combat definitions and bonuses work, so now it's a lot easier and smoother to um, add new definitions and bonuses. Uh, there was also a new command added, Trivia Help, for the newer players. Um, so if you use the Trivia Help, you will be actually going to the um, uh, forum thread where all the answers have been um, provided by Astromedi, so a huge thank to you for making this. There were also a bunch more instances made, for example for General Grador, Criara, Commander Liliana, Krill Sutura, King Black Dragon, Calphite Queen, Ice Elemental, Sunfried, Corporal Beast and Virago. Um, there was also a new system added for projectiles, so there was a new offset made um, depending on the NPC size which will uh, make everything look a lot more clean. Metal Dragon's HP has been fixed, like um, Steel Dragon's and uh, Iron Dragon's had over 20,000 HP, which shouldn't be anything for a um, regular Slayer NPC. They are also no longer aggressive, so you can do your Slayer task a lot faster. Um, Non-lead donators will no longer be able to go to the lead donator uh, boss. There was an issue with that, but that has been fixed. Now some background work for the next update is there was actually particles added to the Noxious site which I will show you guys um, right here. Also the Noxious staff has been added but as you can see the Noxious site now does have the RS3 particles. Same with the Noxious staff which has been added as you can see the particles are really smooth on there as well. Now right here is a new custom Slayer NPC which will be added in the next update as well together with a new custom weapon which I'll also show off real quick. It will be the um, Corrupted uh, Scimitar if I can actually find it. Um, I will also be asking to make an um, offhand version so find Corrupted Scimitar um, 26913. So this is the Corrupted Scimitar, as you can see it looks really good in my opinion. Now we will be getting an offhand version of this as well and this weapon will be a drop from this uh, particular Slayer monster. Um, I have no idea what Slayer level you will need to be able to kill the Slayer monster yet, but it will be a pretty high level. The um, new Scimitar will then again be a um, leverage or a bridge between the gap of the um, Secret Clay Scimitar and then the Draigers because right now there is quite a big gap. This weapon will actually come in between it. Now there is also a new 99 plus skilling zone that I have been working on. Wood cutting um, has been done, also fire making and fletching, so that's what I'm going to show next. So as you can see, there will be a 99 plus skilling teleport now, and you will be actually teleported to this location. If you run through the waterfall, you will see that this location has been added with a few trees like the elder tree which you will need 95 wood cutting for the crystal tree where you will need 102 or 103 then 108 for the baobab tree 114 or 13 for the curse tree and then 170 for the bloodwood tree now you can chop these and then you can actually fledge them into bows you will need a bowstring and everything but these will be quite a lot of money as well um, the bows will also be used for PKing, they are just an upgraded version from the magic short and longbow. Um, and then you will be able to use these bows in the wilderness as well. 
but you can sell the Bloodwood bows, for example, for uh, 67.5 mil each, which is quite a lot of money. So it's definitely another money-making method if you want to do some AFK. Um, but also the blood dye was added, which I showed before. So you can, um, uh, so it actually works on the new Cyrenic set already. Once I have all the other um, the blood dye models, I will be fixing, uh, making it so that it works on everything. Also, the achievement interface has been re-added. So um, yeah, the achievements itself still need a few fixes, but once that is done, we can fully release the achievements. As you can see here are all the uh, logs models and then the bows that you can make with them. So you can the um, Elder Short Bow, Long Bow, Crystal, um, Baobab, Cursed, and then the Bloodwoods. What's coming up soon will be the 99 plus killing zone, um, which will be fully released on the next update. This picture was actually taken on Staff Zone. These trees were there to test. Um, but yeah, the zone will be released with the next update. There will be more 99 plus killing things coming to the zone real soon uh, once we get all the object models and stuff done. Achievements will be coming soon as well. Blood Eyed Armor and Weapons with their custom effects and then the custom rare zone. We are actually looking into fixing all the custom rares that were provided to us. Once that is done, we will be making a fully custom zone so you guys can grind out some of these awesome custom rares that have been made for us. Anyways, those were some of the updates in our latest update. Post. Now, of course, there will be a lot more updates coming as I just showed you. Besides the ones that I showed you for the future, there will be a lot more updates uh, as well. I'm still working on getting a lot of models for new Slayer NPCs, new uh, skilling uh, stuff, and all that other stuff, so like bossings and um, new weapons and equipment. But that is all for the future. Right now, we are focusing on fixing a few things, also making sure that the achievements will be done pretty soon here and some of the other things that we are working on. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to hit the notification bell and also make sure to join immortal if you haven't already or come on and play right now there are on average about 10 to 15 players on so yeah we would like to see that go up quite a bit that would be super nice but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video i'll catch you guys in the next video peace